Hey everybody, Justin Worden, and you are watching What's New in Electronics. We are here at IPC Apex 2024. It's day two, and I'm with Philippe from Weller. How are you doing, man? I'm doing well, Justin. Thank you very much. Man, I can tell you this. When Weller, if you go on any social media platform, you go to any show, you guys are everywhere. That's what we try to do, because we have a lot of things to do, to sell, and to also communicate with our customers. So a question I have for you is, like, when you have such a range of products how do you really narrow in and really become that true specialist with everything well i guess the most important for us is really voice of the customer i'm probably saying something that many people would say but it's really what we do we spend as much time as we possibly can and that i'm talking about our sales guys obviously but also our product managers or engineers or application engineers we try to spend as much time as we possibly can with the end user why is that because they are the one facing the issues. And if we're not spending time with them, we don't know what their issues are, what their pain points are. When we know and when we see, we come back and we uh, start working on the drawing board and, and try to find a solution. And the solution is usually linked to innovation and new technologies. But then because we have that close relation with, uh, with the customer, we're capable of developing solution that really makes sense. So it's not just cutting edge technology for the sake of it, no, it's cutting edge technology with a purpose that really makes the customer improve his efficiency and productivity. Well, you're absolutely right. I mean, a lot of people do say that, you know, we listen to the customer and all that, but there's a difference between listening to the customer and actually making that investment financially as a manufacturer to implement the feedback that you're getting. Well, it's, it's critical, but that's, that's the base of it. I mean, if you have a portfolio of product that really do not correspond to what the customer is expecting for, it's not going to work. So. When we develop our uh, product portfolio or where we uh, prepare our strategic intent from a product perspective, that's what we're going to look at. We're going to look into, okay, we had all of these meetings with the customers. Uh, what is it that we need to do next to, uh, to be ready to solve all, all of their um, uh, issues, problems, pain points? Um, the latest products we had is the WX Smart. is really what you probably can find best as a hand soldering solution on the market today and it's been built based on what the customer were expecting and so how can we prove that we are doing well well when we go back with the products to our customers and they literally have a list of things that they're expecting we tick all of the boxes simply because we did listen to them. One of our customers, I'm not going to name them, but they were really very demanding. And so when we introduced that particular product to them, uh, probably 18 months after uh, the initial discussions, they literally ticked all the boxes and they looked at us and said, you, you guys really did listen to what we told you. And indeed, yeah, but that's the base. If you don't do that, you come up with a product that has no purpose for the customer. Well, when you make those investments, that's when you take a customer from a one-time customer to a loyal customer, right? And even if the product is more expensive, in the long run, it could be less expensive because now they're able to buy a product that they're not going to have to replace next year. So let's talk about how Weller is making those investments so that it's just not outdated in 12 months. Yeah, that, it's, it's a very, very good question. A couple of things. Customer, well, our tagline is uh, powerful together and together with our customers as well. So we're looking into partnership and in the last five years, we did not lose any customer. So that also tells about the relation we have with our end users, with our distributors, because those guys are helping us getting to the, uh, to the, uh, to the customer. Um, now, long-term investment. One of the things we have done is build this product I was re referring to, WX Smart, as a platform that is modular. In other words, you buy the, uh, the station, which has intelligence built in. It's a smart device, like many, of, uh, many people in the industry will probably uh, refer to. But it really allows you to start uh, connecting and monitoring and controlling other devices on the bench. So in other words, if you buy that product, you know that you have the base, whatever you want to grow uh, after that, or whatever you want to buy because your application is changing, you don't need to change everything. You just have the base and you add an element to it, whether it's uh, a, a filtration device or a, uh, a rework uh, module, all of these elements we are bringing and we are enriching the platform. That is how we try to protect the investment that the customer is doing. We really build an ecosystem that makes sense for him, 
starting eventually with the base and then growing as the application come up their way. Yeah, and another thing to talk about, I mean, technology-wise, product-wise, I mean, well, you sit at the top. But Thank you. When we, we talked about it earlier, the investment you make in, but the investment is more than just financial. It's also the partners you have in the sales force and the service side. You know, you guys work with a lot of very key distributors around the world, and it's not just any Joe Schmo that can sell a product. You make sure you align yourself with some of the top industry experts, so not only can they sell your product, they can service it and train on it as well. Absolutely, and I, I, I believe that people do not realize that um, some of these products you need to understand exactly what the application is at the end user. And of course we can do our own share of the, of the job by supporting uh, the end users, but you can never reach out to as many end users as your distributors or partners can do. So that's why first we have a very wild and global network of partners around the world, but we also make sure to choose the best and the strongest one from a support perspective. Um, yeah, that's, that's how we, um, we serve the end users uh, all over the world uh, globally. Absolutely. So, Philippe, I mean, this is fun. You and I could talk all day about this. We, we really enjoy this topic, especially you. But for those that are learning about Weller for the first time, the few people out there, how can they get a hold of you? So, we have, we're a global company, so we have um, uh, facilities in a different part of the world. I would say for North America, our headquarters is in... Uh, in uh, South Carolina, um, Lexington. In Europe, it's in uh, close to Stuttgart in Germany. Um, I would I would say um, the easiest way is to go to the uh, www.weller-tools.com, and you will find all of the contacts, uh, ourselves, our partners. Um, and any question can be answered then uh, via our website. All right, Ben, that was a great interview. Thank you so much. Thank you, Justin.